You know, there's an entire generation of, of, of people out there that are going to watch this and not know, you know, who the heck a Stepford wife is. But it's shorthand for basically an almost programmed robotic android, if you will, perfect wife who acts and talks and walks and looks perfectly. Was Susan a Stepford wife? I, I think to say that she was denigrates what happened and who she was and what defined her. She wasn't a Stepford wife. She was an abused wife. And there's nothing that I've seen, read, heard that leads me to believe otherwise. Susan was quiet. She was a little reserved. But she was a very classic suburban all-American girl. Was in brownies, very active in her church, a cheerleader from Pee Wee years on. She was in the dance team in high school. She was always well known around her high school because she was so pretty as well. She was a pretty blonde. It was critical for Susan to have the right veneer and that that veneer never showed any cracks. She fit in to this image that Jeffrey had about what a perfect young couple should look like. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not saying that Jeff was a, was a saint by any stretch. You know, I think that, uh, that Jeff had his moments where he partied too much. I think he enjoyed the nightlife, and that was, when he was younger, it was, it was okay. I think as, as he became more of a father and a family man, I believe it caused problems with the marriage. What would motivate somebody to not only kill, but brutally kill a spouse is got to be some, some kind of a disease, uh, something breaking down. I don't want to say insanity, but, but something's not right. And I don't know that there haven't been people that have recognized that they're not right and sought some kind of help, professional or, you know, some other kind of help, but left unchecked. It, different people snap and you, know, you don't want to be the one married to them, I guess. There have to be rules. You have to be able to disagree without being disagreeable. You have to be able to fight without being personal. And when you step over that line, then ultimately what we're going to see are the kinds of tragedies that we saw in the Wright household in that perfect home in far west Houston that February night in 2003. What I've learned from this case is that domestic violence, domestic abuse is that dark little secret that plagues so many storybook marriages all across the country. And the victims of domestic violence have got to understand that there are places where they can go to seek shelter from this storm.